Hi guys, story recaps here, I am going to explain, a 2009, Dutch horror film, called, The Human Centipede. Please try to like, or dislike the video, it is important to us. The film begins, and we see Professor Joseph Heider sitting in his Mercedes, looking at a photograph. In the image, three dogs are arranged in such a way that one is behind the other and the third is behind them. When Professor Joseph was looking at pictures, a truck comes to a halt, and the truck driver is on his way to the forest for the toilet, so he aims his gun and targets him. Jenny and Lindsay are the names of the two girls we see. They are both from the United States but have traveled to Germany for a vacation. They'd gone to the club to celebrate the occasion, and Lindsay was on the phone confirming the location. Despite the fact that they had both traveled, neither had any knowledge of Germany. Both take a rental car and travel late at night to the party location. They had no idea where the party was going to be held. Passing through the jungle, they get lost and get stuck in the problem. When Jenny takes a U-turn of the car, and their car's tire gets punctured. They try to call a car repair agency, but there is no signal on their phone, because they are in the middle of a forest. And they get stuck on the main road, which has no traffic except on the forest side. They both decide to stay in the car and should seek help from anyone who passes by on this road. Then a car drives by and they both try to get help from him. When an old man in this car notices that both of them are alone, he attempts to verbally harass them. They are too afraid and lock the car from the inside. The car then drives away from there. Then they find a place to stay where they can call for help. It's late at night and they're both walking towards the forest. Then they notice a light coming from a home. They both make their way towards this house. Then, all of a sudden, it begins to rain heavily. When they arrive at this house, they are both wet. Professor Joseph came to the door when they knock. They explain their situation and ask him to call an emergency car repairman. They both are alone when the professor invites them in. In the professor's home, there was a bizarre painting that she was staring at with her peculiar eyes. The professor then inquires if they are tourists. And one of them says we're from New York and have come to Germany to visit. She tells the professor once more to call the emergency call repairman, but the professor is unconcerned and ignores them. Are you, relatives? He asks. We are not related, but we are friends, she replies. The professor then stands up and walks to the kitchen to take some water. Jenny and Lindsay think he's contacting the call repairman when he makes a false call. Then he adds a drug into the water, which Lindsay drinks. Jenny, on the other hand, drops the glass. As a result of this, the professor treats them quite poorly. Then he walks downstairs to clean the water. He enters the basement and fills an injection. Lindsay, on the other hand, was in a trance. Because of the drug's side effects. Jenny, on the other hand, does not, and she tells the professor to call again, but he refuses. Then he injects the same shot into Jenny's neck, and she quickly faints. The professor then eats breakfast, and Jenny and Lindsay end themselves in the professor's lap. They find they are tethered to the bed. In addition to these two ladies, the truck driver is also imprisoned. The professor enters the lab and informs the man, whom he does not like, that, it is time for him to die. Then he injects a toxin into his arteries and dies as quickly as he can. He then buried the driver's body in his yard. The professor then gives an anesthetic to make a man unconscious. He's from Japan, and he's lying in the same bed as Jenny and Lindsay. They all came to their senses and screamed because they were terrified of what the professor would do to them. He steps forward to clear the doubts and introduces himself as Professor Joseph, a retired surgeon. He was a crazy doctor. Stitching living things was one of its strangest hobbies. He recently performed the surgery with three dogs. And that insane doctor was going to do the same thing to Jenny Lindsay and the Japanese. Because their skin tissue is identical. He was also informing them about the operation's specifics. At first, he will tear out their knee ligaments and completely destroy them, causing them to be unable to stand. Subject B will be connected to the backside of Subject A, as will Subject C to the backside of Subject B. He will remove the skin from their hip and replace it with the skin from their jaw. And then join the three as shown in the diagram. So, when subject A eats food, its waste material enters subject B's mouth and likewise enters subject C's mouth. 
This procedure is obviously far cheaper and nastier, and no normal person could perform it. Because this doctor is insane and enjoys nasty experiments. It's his first encounter with the human body. First and foremost, he gives a lethargic injection to the Japanese man, rendering him unconscious. Jenny screams angrily as the professor attempts to give the same injection to her as well. Lindsay, meantime, opens the rope with her teeth and escapes. She has dripped needles in her hand, which are causing her flesh to pull and bleed. She enters a room and closes the door, but the professor enters and breaks the window. Lindsay also flees the scene and falls into a pool. The professor also arrives and covers the entire pool with a mat. Then, all of a sudden, the power goes out. Lindsay escapes, taking advantage of the darkness. She enters the professor's laboratory and cuts the rope of her friend Jenny, who is sleeping as a result of the injection. She drags Jenny from there and leads her outdoors, but professor arrives as well. He also gave her the same injection, and Lindsay is now unconscious as well. Then he takes both of them and brings them to the lab. Then he begins the operation by extracting the victim's ligaments and teeth. Then he marks their body with the marker. Then he takes their hip and face skins and performs a lengthy procedure, scene concludes here. The professor is then seen drinking a few days later. His human centipede is placed on the ground in front of him. Their wounds are still fresh, and the professor tries to pressure them into standing together. They are linked in such a way that the Japanese man is at the forefront. Lindsay is in the middle, while Jenny is in the end. Jenny is at the end of the centipedes and she is seen as the centipede's tail. They are in pain, but the professor takes a picture of them by forcing them to stand. Then he shows them a mirror, and they begin screaming constantly as they see their situation. He confines them in a cage and treats them like animals. And this goes on and on for several days. He makes the Japanese men eat like dogs. Professor smashes the Japanese man's jaws once more. Then we observe that the professor is brutalizing them and taking them outside. The Japanese will then need to go to the toilet. When he excretes, his human feces enter Lindsay's mouth. Lindsay must swallow it, it was a filthy procedure in both viewing and thinking. Professor examines their physical state, which reveals that Japanese as well, but Lindsay has constipation since she is not digesting this man's human waste. Jenny, on the other hand, is not getting any food or energy supply for her body. Because she hasn't eaten anything, she is becoming weaker. Her wounds are still fresh, and she appears to be on the verge of death. Jenny should be relocated, according to Professor. Meanwhile, there is a loud tap on the door, and we see two police officers. The police arrive to look for Jenny and Lindsay, who had been missing for several days. Their car was parked a long distance away from the professor's house. The professor informs them that he is a doctor and that he does not have time to go out. He knows nothing about those girls. When the professor asks them what they want to drink, they respond coffee. No, he adds, you'll only receive water. On it, the cops suspect him, and the professor was taking water while adding drugs to it. The officer informs him that someone has listened to the voice of the missing girls from his house. And we found your Mercedes from the truck whose drivers had been missing for several days. When he hears it, he yells and orders them to drink water. They smash the glass. He goes to get the injection, making an excuse for the towel, which he may use to make them unconscious. But this time he was caught red-handed in front of the cops. He explains that you can't tease someone without a reason. You can't hold me accountable if you don't have a warrant. They go to get their warrant. When the professor walks into his lab, he doesn't see his human centipede. Because they're hiding. They stab him in the knee with a medical knife. As a result, he falls. The Japanese man slashes the professor's neck, and the mass falls into his mouth. They then attempt to climb. They are unable to go upstairs since they are weak and have undergone surgery. Their stitched parts were swollen. They make their way up the stairs, when the professor appears behind them. He begins licking their blood off the staircase. The Japanese smash the mirror, and the doctor comes. The Japanese slice his neck with the glass, and he dies immediately. Meanwhile, those police officers make their way there as well. However, they didn't see anyone. They went to his lab, but there was again no one there. The officer is under the influence of drug. Because of the drug he gave him in the water. 
when the other officer searches, he comes across them. But their situation was even worse. The cop approaches the professor to take him into custody. He was lounging by a pool. His partner, a police officer, was also dead. Then he shoots the other police officer using the officer's weapon. In return, the police officer shoots Professor Joseph as well. They both died, and there was nothing left except for Dr. Joseph's centipede. It was a shady experiment carried out by a crazy doctor. The film ends here. Subscribe and turn on the notification. You can also dislike or like the video to appreciate our hard work.